One of the first things God told Adam after he had eaten of the tree of knowledge of good and evil was that he shall eat bread in the sweat of his face. This meant that man shall toil to provide for himself. Whereas they were once allowed to eat freely from every tree in the garden, Adam now had to work. But what does this have to do with believers today? If we think about it, the one thing we can glean from this story is that work is ordained by God. Man is supposed to work to provide for his own needs and his family, and this order includes all Christians as well. But as Christians, we are asked to do more than just work. To us, work is an opportunity to serve God and be a witness for God. That is to say that work is a ministry, or at least, that's how it should be. Colossians 3, 22-23 can't be any clearer. As servants to our earthly masters, we are commanded by God to obey them. But at the same time, we should obey as to the Lord, not unto men. That means that in everything we do, our work included, the Lord should be glorified. Our workplaces then should be places of ministry. As Christ's witnesses, we should view our God-given jobs as places to shine our testimony. After all, we are not only Christians within the confines of our homes and churches, but are ministers whatever our vocation. This is the proper Christian perspective when it comes to work, that we consider our jobs, professions, businesses, and studies as ministries. Let us be Christians first before anything else.